Good morning. Alright, I feel like I have such an egghead with this hair, but I did it myself, so it makes me feel good. So guys, I thought today I would tell you how in the hell I went viral on TikTok. I have no idea. I, I don't. But I'm grateful and I wish YouTube would pick up my videos in the algorithm as well. But I figured we could have a little sit down chit chat. We can, we can talk about things. Let's get to it. Let's get the chair out, let's get serious. Let's talk about this. I don't know what else I need. I feel like I haven't been consistent with YouTube. It is literally because TikTok has taken over my life and I never, I never thought I would say that. And I'm really sad to be saying it now, but quarantine, guys, has sucked me in. These long guys are always doing the most. So if you don't know, the gentleman who has been in most of my vlogs is Jay. That is my boyfriend. We've been together for a while. But beyond the point, I made a TikTok and it was how uh, despite my size and height, I still like to wear his clothes. I still want to wear them because I don't care <laughs> how it makes me look. And somehow that blew up on TikTok. I didn't realize that millions of people would relate to that. I woke up and that TikTok had a million views that I was like, what? And last time I went to sleep, it was like 16,000, which to me, I saw 200 views and I was like, oh my God, this is so sick. This is so sick. For the most part, I've had good feedback on that video. There's been some people completely over something boundaries, being super sexual, but I'm trying to take it with a grain of salt. And it was mostly, like I said, good feedback. Actually, I will insert the clip of the video I do here. not care. I don't care. I'm aware of because I love him and they fit. Yeah. So I do not care. I don't. I don't know I don't what care. about that was special. I was honestly just being myself. I didn't think anyone else would relate on such a factor where it has the amount of views it does. I believe now it is at 5 million views and I posted it on the 18th of April. That was the first video that went viral. And then the second one that went viral was the one of me uh, showing the comparison of Jay and I's height and size. Uh, people were dying to know how giant this man was and how our sizes like differed. So I will show you guys the second TikTok that went viral. <laughs> Tired of y'all shit? I'm 6'4", 220. I wear a 36, 34, and I wear an extra large shirt. Y'all happy now? And that one, has comments that are like kind of affecting me because I didn't think that there would be so many people in the world that would have no problems sexualizing uh, me and him. And I, I don't want him, cause he's already not like a big into the camera kind of guy and he is easing into it cause he really wants to do YouTube with me and TikTok with me and film with me and he's getting so much better. Um, but I don't want these derogatory comments to like steer him away. I just want him to be comfortable and obviously I know with uh, exposure comes the bad and the good. That TikTok in particular has 2.8 million views. Again, mind blowing to me. Every time. What, babe? What, babe? Are we doing anything? Guys, why do people always FaceTime me when I'm filming? I don't even remember what I was talking about. I didn't think that four months into 2020, I would reach a million views. And realistically, I've reached five, six, seven, 7.8 million views, not including all of the other ones that have a good amount of views on it. But I, I always said, you know, I would never be defined by views, numbers, likes, comments, and I'm still not. I just think it's so cool to reach a goal and to like, manifest things because not even a week prior to that I was talking with my cousin and we were talking about like what, what does it feel like to go viral what does it feel like you know to have that one video just set off no matter what the platform is and then like a 
few days later it happened and it was just the craziest thing ever. Now there's people like asking for more content, like are genuinely like interested in the things we do and I think that's so sick, I'm so grateful. This doesn't make me feel cool, this doesn't make me feel validated. Uh, in fact, it's just fun because I always told myself if I ever got a platform, I would talk about things that matter. And I don't think that this platform is big enough yet to really make a difference, but I have a really strong feeling that it will get there very soon. I'm manifesting it now, and I will use it for the greater good. So that is pretty much it. That is how I went viral on TikTok and had no idea. So much fun, so addicting. It's giving me something to do. I like it. Uh, obviously quarantine is not the most ideal situation, but it has brought me this opportunity to just start this little platform and make it something. If you would like to follow me on TikTok, this is my handle. It is the same as all of my other social media accounts. Gotta keep it simple. That is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. I am so grateful. I have gained damn near 240 plus subscribers in the last month because of TikTok. So thank you guys. We are almost at 500. I've reached almost 5,000 views on one of my videos, which is great. Like I never even thought that that would be possible on YouTube. But like I said, it's slowly but surely coming along. I appreciate you guys so much. I really, really do. I normally post Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Thank you for watching today's video, and I hope to see you guys all in the next. The content will be flowing. <laughs> all right, guys, that is it. I'll see you next time. Bye.